to do that. Yes, Mayor. Well, I've been sitting here amazed at a few things. One, the cost of all those repairs, in my opinion, is a maintenance projects, not capital projects. That's right. And if you're going to borrow money to fix potholes or fix restrooms, which should be the day-to-day -day operations of the school, I think the voters are going to turn it down. We aren't suggesting that. Well, and then the other thing, when you look at the numbers, you mentioned seven portables in Barrow, but no solution how to fix, build a wing or what, about the schools itself or the high school, where are you going to put the portables? And then there was one uh, comment about the middle school. Well, my last trip to the middle school on the second floor, the ceiling tiles were falling out because the roof was leaking and some other issues with the, uh, the AC on that building. And none of that was addressed. Potholes, I mean, Fairhope fixes all the potholes, but the schools, all we have to do is get a phone call. So I wish that we could think about the real capital needs, because I assure you, the growth analysis that we're looking at, our biggest segment of population growth currently in Fairhope is 29 to 49, or 39. That's the largest growing according to the census of the state, I mean, of the federal government. And that ain't going to get any smaller. And then just recently, the Eastern Shore, if you read, about the metropolitan area, is the seventh fastest in the country. And with all that put into place, I, I think it's going to be a lot of strain to have to deal with the Eastern Shore about the growth potential, where are you going to put a new high school because of the feeder pattern, because we looked at that when Bob Callahan and I first, when I first came on mayor, we figured out where the high school and when they talk about the elementary school and the kindergarten students, we have a large segment of parents in Fairhope that homeschool. And the reason they're homeschooling, they don't want their children in those 30 plus classrooms. And until we get larger or you know, more teachers involved in smaller classrooms, then we'll see the children going back into the, the school system. So when you build it, it's going to be easy for them to say we're ready for our children to go in back into the system. Make sure you consider those groups of children when you're uh, doing your analysis. Thank you. And, and just to clarify, we're not talking about trying to increase taxes to deal with maintenance issues. We, we are looking at simply capital needs, not maintenance issues. And I'm glad you pointed out the issues at the middle school. Frank, I hope you took notes on the. Okay. Thank you, sir. Anybody else?